Hi, my name is Tim Roberts with Go Engineer. I'm a certified SOLIDWORKS application engineer. In this Go Engineer Quick Tips video, I'll be discussing flexible subassemblies. One of the really common questions we get is we take a given subassembly, such as this one in front of us here. Um, it's a plunger um, cylinder that rotates and uh, the plunger moves in and out. And when we add this to a, a top level assembly, the default behavior is that this will be treated as a rigid block. Let me um, demonstrate. So if we say file, make assembly from this assembly, and we'll stick our um, flexible assembly in. Now I, this is our sub assembly, and if I try to move it, you get this error selected components fixed, it cannot move. Well, we, we can move it, we just have to change it to solve as flexible. And the way that we do that is if you right mouse click on the subassembly, and if you go up here to the component properties icon, it's the hand of the paper, we get this menu. And there's an option in the lower right corner here uh, where we can set it to solve as flexible and that what's, that's what we need to do in order to get this to solve at the top of level assembly as it does in the sub-assembly. You'll notice the icon has changed slightly indicating it's a flexible assembly now. Um, likewise if you wanted to have that treat as a rigid unit again you would go back and say that you wanted it to solve as rigid and you would give up your motion. This has been Tim Roberts with Go Engineer. Hope you enjoyed this video. Check out our other videos for more tips on using SOLIDWORKS. Thank you.